Kim here. I'm working on my um, project for the Justice Scrap and Design team. And for this week's challenge, you were to um, make a card that involves single layer stamping. And I typically don't do that. I feel like I always have to put dimension to it, but um, I think this is going to be a good challenge. Now, I wanted to show you these real quick. I had done a Scrapbook Expo haul, and after I finished editing and I uploaded the video on YouTube, um, I'd gone out to get my mail or something, I can't remember, but I noticed another bag in my car. So I had much more, I had bought much more. And um, these are the two things of the much more. So I guess throughout my videos, I'll share um, those things that I forgot to include and let you know that that's where I got them from the expo. Um, now this particular one was a buy one, get one 50% off and it was $14.99 for one of them. So I got each of them for $7, which um, I think that's a good deal. I think, um, I don't, I've never seen these in Joann's or anything like that. So um, I went ahead, I love this one, so cute. This is the one I'm gonna use, but I also love this hello stamp and it comes with the hello die. So I'll be using that one too. All right, so let's open this up. And I'm just taking the stamp set out, I think. There we go. Sorry about the noise. I know my camera picks up that scratching noise there. Now I'm gonna do some single layer stamping on this um, tag that I made. Now I used bits and pieces and I cut this um, at three by five. Now this piece right here, it's it's two layers of this tag. And I thought it was really, really cute. I just wanted to show you what it looks like, um, you know, with that top layer on it, but I'm, I'm not gonna be using that for this particular um, uh, project. All right, so I'm also going to include um, Avocado Arts stamp called A Mother's Love. I love this flower, and I think with the flower and the ladybug, it might turn out cute. Helps if I turn off my computer, huh? All right, I'll deal with that later. You guys will just have to hear my, my beeping, my You Got Mail thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just you know, kind of lay it out here and see how I might want to do it. I like the um, banner effect of this tag. And I'm trying to decide, I think for this, I don't want them like walking up in the air. I think I'll go ahead and use this one. Most of the time, this is how I decide how I want to do my um, cards as I lay everything out. Now on this one you have a choice of either doing this or this. I'm going to do this but I'm going to stamp it out in red. So that'll fit right there in his wing I think. So I'll put that right there for now. And what should we say for the sentiment? How about just hello? That might be nice. Just a nice hello. So there's not going to be a whole lot going on here but enough that it'll be cute. Um, kind of not liking this flower though. So let's go ahead and put this aside for now. I think it's too, oh, you know, it would just go like this. Yeah, I think that flower made it, uh, it wasn't, the combination wasn't going together for me right. All right, so let's just try it out. Get those little stamps out of the way. Go ahead and stamp this in my with my Memento Black. Make sure I got that all covered. And I'm going to put her just like this. I'm using my um, mini So Easy pad behind there. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, so let's we'll set that aside for now. And then I'm going to get my, I'll cover that up here. I'm going to get my red ink out of my new color box that I bought. Um, this is pigment ink that I got it on sale. And I'm going to go for this red right here. And I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but this is what I'm doing. <laughs> just take it off the darn um, palette there and you just, just dab it like that. That's, I guess, supposed to be the right way to do it. Um, actually, put that on wrong. That would not be good. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the one that fits in these wings. Make sure that's all covered. If not, then I can do a redo, but I'm pretty sure this is how it works. It might be for the other one, but I'm pretty sure. 
Why do I keep saying I'm pretty sure? I'm trying to convince myself. Okay, stamp it down hard. Oh, look at that. It's adorable. Okay, I'm happy. Cute color of red, too, huh? It's like a, um, it's not like a primary red. It's got a little bit of, like, a pink in it, almost. All right, so let's stamp this side. Wow, that is really cute. I'm going to grab a wipey and bump the camera because you can't do a video without bumping the camera. You guys know me. All right, set that down. Put that away. And I'll do this little hello. And, um, oh, I think I'm going to put some green in that. And I'm going to use this darker green color. Flip this around so I can hold on to it. I have to be careful not to get it on my fingers. All right, and I can put that right there. Nice. All right, now I'm going to just take a quick look at all the stamps that I have here on my craft desk to see if I can find a little flower. I cannot, but I certainly like this heart right here on this Hero Arts. This is another Mother's Day. You can tell I've been making Mother's Day cards. i got all my Mother's Day stamps out there. All right, so let's clean this. Put that back here. Yeah, we're going to do little hearts with this pretty, pretty red. Pinkish red, huh? I'm going to set that down right there for a second because I don't want, whoops, I don't know why, I think my um, acrylic block is wet, that's why it wasn't, okay, well that's where it's supposed to be then. <laughs> Do you guys see what happened? It just fell right off my stamp, I mean my block. Oh yeah, the hearts really add something to it. I'll put one right here. We can even put one right here. I don't want to overdo it there. I got some black ink. Oh, bummer. I didn't do too good of a job on that one. I wonder if I should color those hearts in. Hmm. I'll put one up here as well. Oh my gosh, that ladybug's so cute. Now, um, the die cut part would be cute too. Um, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll be using those. I'm sure I will. Um... Oh, I need to do something. Oh, you know what? I got my stickle sitting out here that, from my video that I just did recently. Maybe we could put some pink stickles in there looking for scrap paper. I always like to give it a little go first. Okay, let's do... I'm just grabbing things off my craft desk. It's so funny. It's good. I didn't put it away, huh? Wow, the stickles really add something. I'm bummed about that, though. You could also put um, a layer of uh, the clear stickles over the, or some glossy accent over the ladybug wings. I might have some of that out, my glossy accent. Okay, so we're going to let that sit and dry. All right, let me check over here. I do not have any stickles sitting out. Uh, let me check in my basket. Move some things around a little bit. And see if I have some stickles in my basket. I do not. Well, that's the way it goes. All right, I'm going to set my basket down. All right, oh... I know what I have. Jeez, Kim. The Wink Estella. That's what I'm going to use. I have these little containers that are like at arm's reach for me. And let's go for the clear, and then the red will shine through really well. Get her all shinied up. 
Well, that's interesting. It's kind of spreading the colors of the pigment ink, which I expect that now that I think about it, that yeah, because pigment ink takes a long time to dry. But how cute that it's turning those little dots into like a real light pink color. Make sure my Ink is still like it's cleaned off too, so that my next project doesn't get pink on it. Okay, simple but adorable, right? Um, so that is an example of single layer single layer stamping. Um, there's lots of YouTube videos on this if you're interested in trying it. Um, that is more elaborate and there's more things going on. So I am going to go ahead and I've got some, just remembered I've got some ladybug ribbon that I can put in there and um, I could even give this to somebody just letting them know I'm thinking about them, right? All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.